So welcome again. This is the recording of the uh, live session with the Humid BZ. This is uh, UMC Portal and JKK Mobile uh, getting together to do uh, another one of our live sessions where we get really deep into the device and have a couple of hours to really do a, um, a really no holds barred uh, review process that's recorded. You can see everything that goes wrong and things do go wrong. So stick around, could be fun. Well, I wonder if we'll have another smoke device tonight. <laughs> no, 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 let's not do that. <laughs> it's uh, an unsponsored event, so um, the only thing we would ask is if you are interested in buying the Umid BZ, have a look at our links on jkkmobile.com, umcportal.com. We have a number of affiliates where you can buy the device through, and that really helps us to continue doing these live shows. So give that yep. a thought if you're interested in the device. Apart from that, there's no sponsorship, so we're free to say what the hell we want. Thanks to you, Mid, though, for letting us borrow it. Actually, the fact of the matter is, I should have given it back in Vegas, but uh, it ended up in my bag, and oops. Accidental. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you, Mid, were pretty okay about that. So I haven't got the retail packaging here, um, but I've got some bits that you, Mid, sent over last week, which um, are most of the retail packaging. There's a couple of bits missing, and I'll talk about those afterwards. Um, there's also some retail package unboxing pictures at pocketables.net so check those out. Uh, Jen has got some good pictures up. Right, let's get uh, into it um, and this first recorded session is going to be basically overview of the device about 20 minutes, I don't want to have it to too long but I'll talk about everything I found out about the device in the week or so that I've had it and um, and then we'll do Q&A at the end of that. So for those of you that don't know the BZ, that's probably most of you that will be watching this on a recorded uh, video. Um, the UMID BZ is the follow-on device from the UMID uh, M1, the MBOOK M1, which was, I think, the lightest ever clamshell UMPC. Am I right, JKK? Yep. Three, 300 yep. and something. The world's smallest PC, they call. Yeah. Even Intel is saying that, so it must be true. <laughs> yeah, J JKK is on the other uh, live channel holding it up uh, to the camera so you can see the old version there. Now, the old version um, was a good device, but had some, some issues with it, uh, namely uh, plastic build quality, screen angle, and the proprietary connectors that they used on the original yeah. device. So, as I go around this device, you'll see that they've changed that. But starting from the outside, then. This is uh, 300. And, well, this one measures uh, 370 grams. I've measured it myself. I don't know what the official weight is. I think it's around 400 grams. But this one's weighing 370. It's a 32 gig version SSD that I've got here. So it's a nice. Uh, it's got one of those rubberized plastic finishes. Good high friction, so it's not going to uh, fall out of your hand very easily. And it doesn't really catch too many smudges. Although if you have really dirty hands, like obviously I've had, there are a few. Uh, few smudges but it's not really the fingerprint magnet that the glossy devices are yeah. and really nice lightweight this is perfect uh, really handheld size and I would say uh, jacket pocketable not jeans pocketable but uh, jacket pocketable which is uh, I think how how you've been using the M1 JKK yeah in your jacket pocket although you don't use it now do you you, you used to use it but you don't use it anymore right uh, you mean no without 3G I can't use it yeah. right right so this is uh, slightly larger than the original M book, but still again, and we'll do some size comparisons, uh, size comparisons in a bit. Um, so quickly going around the device, then let me uh, zoom in and uh, show you around the uh, the device. The important bit really here on the uh, right hand side is the difference between the M book and the uh, sorry the M book M1 and the M book M2 sorry BZ, and you'll see here they've got a VGA adapter port and that will drive a monitor. I've tested up to 1920 by 1080 so it's full HD output. Um, there's a three and a half mil headphone it's marked as a headphone port but you may have supplied a headset so it's possible it's wired for headset as well but I couldn't get the headset to work so I'm not sure what's going on there maybe you need to get confirmation that that is a headset um, it doesn't matter too much because the built-in mic and speakers are okay for skyping anyway. But um, yeah, on on a M1, the old unit, uh, it, it was the same problem on on normal headsets. I couldn't get the microphone start uh, work, but the uh, internal microphone actually was pretty good. So right. 
Might be some for reasons. There might be some setting that we've missed. There's the standard USB port. Those of you that are watching also on the, the live session, you'll see Jake Care holding up the old version, which has got the proprietary port. So you had a yeah. dongle which went in there, which was really horrible, to be honest. And um, yep. for, for a lot of people, basically a showstopper. You know, if you want to be plugging yep. stuff in and out of that USB port, and of course, this is a Windows device, so you can plug anything you want in. And generally, it's going to work. Cameras, drives, um, whatever you really need. Then we've got the 7.5 volt DC in Kensington port lock. Across the back, this is quite quite a neat design. They've they've actually got the uh, I guess three cell. Or is that two cell? Two cell. Two yeah. cell. Two cell battery in the back there. 17.8 watts. 17.8. Yeah, so this is the same as the MBook M1, and um, it's about half of the capacity of a standard three-cell netbook. Yeah. So uh, just to give you some idea of the sort of battery capacity on it, and then there's there's no connectors on the back, and then on the right-hand side there's one little um, blanked-off port there. That's for the uh, DMB antenna, I believe, in the South Korean versions. This would have a digital TV receiver in, or the antenna yeah. would come out there, or the yeah. connector. But of course, that doesn't work in Europe or in America, so you can forget that bit. So going along to the front, then this uh, this little blank blanked off port here is where the 3G SIM card would be on a 3G version of this. Now this doesn't have 3G built in, which is a shame. Um, and I don't know whether they're going to bring 3G one to the market. But clearly the design is there. So if someone asks for ten thousand of them, I'm sure they'll they'll quickly drop the three G module in and, and run those off. Yeah. But that's that's probably for carrier carrier orders. Yeah. It was pretty much the same with the M1. So they it, it took like ages that they have even some stock of the three G models. So yeah, yeah. It might might happen, but really slowly or maybe never. Right, and then you can just about see the um, if I zoom. And you can just about see the microphone port there by my finger. It's not uh, focused very well. And then to the right of that, there's the um, micro SD card slot, which is much more accessible than the one on the M book, which was really horrible to get cards in and out of. But that one, yeah. that one seems okay. So that's around the device. Underneath the device, there's the uh, fan in. Sorry, not fan in. Um, Air in, air out. There's no fan in this, but um, that's where the uh, heat, uh, presumably the heat spread is inside there as well. And that's pretty much it. Stylus? No stylus on this one. Yeah, and on the M1 there was this mini stylus, so. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of missing it a little bit, um, but having optimized the XP UI today, it's, and and knowing that the uh, touchscreen on this has got this, uh, is an extremely accurate um, touchscreen. Yeah. Um, with well, the driver has got this stability mode, which seems to help a lot. There's a battery release button there, and that's about it for going around the device.